Genesis, we see the first heaven and earth, right, created. In Revelation, we see the new heaven and earth. This is so amazing, you guys. We're seeing this, how we can compare, we can use the book of Genesis to understand the book of Revelation. In fact, there's a story within Genesis that takes up one-fourth or 25% of the entire book of beginnings, where creation is, Abraham and Isaac and all these different things, the flood. And what is it? It's Joseph's story. And Joseph's story shows us a picture of Jesus' story through and through, all the way. He was the father's most favored son. He was rejected by his own. They conspired to murder him. They sold him for pieces of silver. They gave him over to the Gentiles. Then he was falsely accused. He was put down in that place of the condemned. It was there that he tells the fate of two with him. One lives, one is cursed to death. Then he was later raised up out of that place of the condemned, brought before the throne. It was there before the throne that he was the only one found worthy, like Revelation 5, right? Taking the scrolls out of the right hand of the Father, worthy to reveal the future plans of God, right? And what were those? There was a time of great harvest and then a time of great trouble, seven-year time of great trouble. And it was during that he already had his Gentile bride with him, right? Joseph did. And then what happens? He saves all of Israel during that seven-year time of great trouble. Then he unites his old family with his new as one family forever and ever. And they live in the best of the land, which speaks of that thousand-year reign of Christ. So you hear, you could see it, right? Genesis, just that one story, story of Joseph, shows us how to understand the book of Revelation. Let's get back into some more comparisons here. This is so fun, you guys. So we see the first heaven and earth in Genesis. And then Revelation, we see the new heaven and earth. In Genesis, we see the first garden, right? The Garden of Eden. In Revelation, we see the new garden city, Jerusalem. And that's described in the latter part of Ezekiel, if you want to check that out. Good stuff. It's beautiful. Then we see in Genesis, the tree of life is guarded, right? Adam and Eve, humans were were forbidden to go in there, kicked out. But then what happens in Revelation? The tree of life is available. It's back available for us. And then in Genesis, we see the first marriage. And then in Revelation, we see what? The last marriage, the marriage of the lamb to his bride. So beautiful. And then in Genesis, we see Satan tempts Eve to sin. In Revelation, Satan is thrown into the lake of fire where he belongs. No longer able to deceive the nations and until that thousand-year reign is up. And then forever, he's in hell forever with that false prophet and that beast. So then in Genesis, right, death enters the story. In Revelation, death is no more. Isn't that awesome? Genesis, Babylon is built. In Revelation, Babylon is destroyed. That speaks of that world system, right? The system that's here right now, like that world economic system that's just horrible. And then in Genesis, the Redeemer promised, right? The Redeemer is promised. But in Revelation, the Redeemer reigns. <laughs> he rules and reigns for a thousand years, my friend, a thousand years. Hey, if you haven't checked it out yet, check out this playlist right here. Jesus, how to find Jesus in the Old Testament. We're doing a series on Joseph right now and how he's a picture of Jesus. You, might, you need to check that playlist out right here, my friend.